Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Playing by the Pound. This time we have the game Fwoop Punk, which is an inflation-focused game made by Kippysoft, who are the developers of the uh, of several other interesting games I might check out in the future, and one I've already checked out before. Oh, I forgot the name of it. It's the one that was I recently reviewed it for Furry Feature. It was kind of a Dark Souls-esque combat where we fought a werewolf on a bridge, <laughs> but it was also a robot werewolf. <laughs> What was that one called? I forget. Oh, oh uh, Feck something, something, something. I don't remember. Regardless, this guy makes interesting games. And this one's an interesting one, too. Uh, the description reads that it's an official in-between story between a couple of his other games. <coughs> After Off-Road 2089, which is a racing game he made, featuring the Cobalt Scientist, which might have been in that game, I don't know. But how did he end up so big? Why does he become the merchant? All these questions are answered in this game. Okay, side story game. Uh, features real soft body physics, a Metroidvania-inspired map layout, and a techno soundtrack in a PS1-expired graphical style of 2.5D environment. Warning, this game has round animals. Do not play if you hate big heck and chonkers. So, uh, yeah, this seems to be an inflation platformer. Uh, I have been told also it has two endings. I think one of them is just die, so that's easy enough. But... Uh, let's check this one out. It seems pretty interesting. But of course, before we begin, and I think this will actually trigger a cutscene, so I'm just gonna hit it now. Yeah. I wasn't always a kobold, but the experiments worked. I grew out like a shapeshifter. Made a beast out of me. That's a... But then I was let go. They fired me after I became a kobold. They said, you are too full of yourself. Look at what you have become. You'll turn us all into monsters like you! But I made my own research. Here at home. Let's see how full of themselves they can really become. Yeah, you ever get fired for your job because you became a kobold? Sucks. I guess there's a little transformation in here, too. But of course, now that I'm past the intro, before I begin, if you like the video, do think about giving a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, think about coming over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here, but of course we need more viewers to do that. So if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, think about doing so, because it really does help out and makes a world of difference. Actually, I think we're at 63 viewers right now, which is pretty solid, pretty dang solid. Thank you everyone for coming by. Of course, those of you from Play by the Pound streams, I, I know that these are my most popular streams, but if you guys want to come by my other streams too, support the other content, it helps my channel as a whole including playing by pound content so consider doing it if you had some time uh also we have a pretty cool discord community if you want to check that out i have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content and i have a merch store if you want to buy some cool stuff all links are in the description so check them out at your leisure i am so glad i can mute my mic as i needed to violently cough after doing that intro i swear every time i do an intro my body is like, no, and tries to die in some way. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just, no, we must ruin this intro. Okay, so I'm gonna play this on controller, if that's okay with the game. So we can leave. What the hell am I doing here? Why would I do any of this? Why even try? I'll just sleep it off. I guess leaving's an ending? But day after day goes by. I wonder, what if? What if? What if? Ah, oh, very astute. What if I didn't ever try to change? Just stayed the same. Grew old. Had a family. Believed the media. <laughs> That's You don't want to do that. Then, when the world abandons, abandons me, I'll abandon myself too. This is loud, isn't it? They become nothing but a tombstone with a faded inscription. If I'm lucky, someone might remember I either, ever existed at all. Bad ending! Okay, so it's a slightly loud game. Hold on. I'm gonna solve that real fast. Anyways, that's the game! I hope you guys enjoyed! <laughs> no. I might just dial it down 25%. That should be fine. Alright, can we skip this? Thank God. Okay. So don't leave. We have Shooty Laser Gun. So here's an interesting thing. I think this is the first time I played a plain by the pound style game that was trying to do a PS1 aesthetic. I'd actually like to see that more. 
So this is going for the uh, mix of sprite and 3D PS1 aesthetic. So honestly, it looks a little too high res for PS1. Still has a retro feel though. Anyways, let's hop in here. There is a person. And it seems to be a Doberman guy of some sort. But anyways, let me shoot him. Yes. Now he is bull. Oh, I can unshrink him too. Okay. Also, yeah, physics. <laughs> okay. Oh no, he's rolling. He makes squishy noises. I hope you can hear that. Oops, I didn't mean to shrink him. Wait, what's that there? Secret? I guess not. They didn't lie about soft, didn't they? Question is, what what are we inflating them with? We're clearly, you know, it's clearly inflation, not just fat for a specific. Oh, I should have supposed to use them, maybe. How do I re? Oh, 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 bouncy. Well, whatever they, whatever it is, they're quite bouncy though. Helium? No, they're, they're making too many sloshy sounds. It's something liquidy. Magic, yes. The, li the magic liquid. Oh no, he's really stuck. <laughs> there we go. Gonna be honest, I absolutely adore this PS1 style. Makes me wish stuff like Tribal Hunter embraced it as well. Yeah, and honestly, it's pretty cool to see with a game like this. Also, this guy. He is carefully falling on one foot. Oh. Also, I would like to remark this kobold has giant freaking paws. Latex stockings on giant freaking kobold paws. That's a good co that's a good aesthetic, I suppose. Oh. Oh, these guys, I didn't even fight these guys. I guess these are just like, they were experimenting on these guys anyways. Also, they have gravitational field. It's good to know. This room has a look to it, doesn't it? Oh no. <laughs> I am stuck. Go that way. Jump repeatedly, that's the best way to do it. Hello. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, that actually deflated that guy, that's interesting. Seems like they gain weight with volume if they're being capable of bending gravity. Well, honestly, a lot of inflation games involve air inflation, but that doesn't rule out water inflation either. Or liquid inflation. But I think this is more I think this is more liquid inflation, so what's going on here. Question is what magical bouncy liquid are they being filled with? It is making an air inflation sound, but I think that's just because... I think that's just because, uh... Whenever, I, whenever, whenever any game does inflation, it's always an air inflation sound. This is like the common inflation sound. It's like, it's a, it's a sound effect just used commonly. Oh, I can't even trick these guys, so they're like heckin'. F Maybe these guys aren't magically laser beam filled, they're actually just like manually filled with something. This game is pretty dang aesthetic, isn't it? I know that's a bit of a cringe word these days, but still. Hmm, this looks interesting. Anything going on here? This is like a, looks like a helipad without being a helipad. 
Whoop wave bomb armed. What if I don't escape? Ow. I was wondering why I had a health bar. <laughs> Well, I want to see what happens if I lose. Well, this laser has to really shoot me a lot for me to lose, huh? Multiple endings, friends. Multiple endings. No. I love the close-up shot. Oh, all the way Oh, no. No checkpoints? Well, that's just rude. Also, yeah, I feel like I should not escape for something called the Foomp Wave. Let's see. Let's see if escaping for... Also, I guess I need to play their racing game to see if this Kobold is in that racing game. Now I'm curious. Well, it's not that large a level. It's fine. I could probably speedrun this to some degree. Also, the main level music is giving me major Smash 64 vibes. Really? Like this song right now? This seems way too chill for Super Smash Brothers. So actually, now that you mention Smash Brothers, uh, Smash 64, I just realized this aesthetic feels more N64 to be the PS1. I say that because the very huge difference between uh, N64 3D and PS1 3D was basically how crisp it was. When it came to using sprites, both consoles were kind of chunky with their sprites. Like, our sprite definitely looks of that era. Um, but specifically the environment, I don't know, N64, basically N64 had sharper graphics, I guess is how I'd put it. The PS1 did a lot of uh, texture warping. Jeez, I just noticed what bitrate turns into in the zero G areas. Oh, does the bitrate go crazy? Does does the gra do the does the bitrate not like uh, does my uh, stream bitrate not like certain areas? <laughs> That's weird because I have my bitrate pretty high today. It should look fine. All any random flur furry inflation game. All any percent. Let's go. I mean, that's what I do. All right, now now to now to wait for the foop wave to to do its thing. That's the next. I assume that will be a different ending of some sort. I will I will pretend to escape but not actually do it. Oh. Actually, this is a stupid little extra challenge of seeing if I can avoid taking a hit. So far, yes. Oh no. Chat was reduced to like 60.6 times 6 rectangle in the first year. The chat was reduced? What? Hi, the key squid. Oh, God. That's you in a spread shot, I just realized. Oh, I got hit. I, I, I'm sure there's no reason to do a no hit run, but it would have been amusing if I did. Though it doesn't really matter because I'm just trying to die anyways. We'll save the success we'll save the actual successful escape run for last. How do I leave? Okay, there we go. Harder than it looks, apparently. My goodness, these guns. It's amazing how inaccurate they are if you keep moving though. Oh, the music sped up. Whoa. It's 
Push. Alright, this is good. Let's wait. <laughs> I think the music ended a little earlier than the, the, the timer. Oh, I was really hoping to see, like, us do, like, oh, just a death animation? Come on. Come on. Can't, can't have me explode with a building or something? All right, fine. Come on, you, if you have a countdown to the bomb goes off in a video game, then it, it's, it's required that the bomb has, like, some special game over. It's required. You know? I think I was supposed to actually use this guy. Interesting. Or at the very least fade to white with an explosion sound or something, yeah. Oh well. Actually a fairly tight timer, I gotta say. That Culpa is in future games. Uh, if you if you guys want to play Kibby Soft's game, he has an itch channel. He has an itch page. If you guys want to figure out what game this this Kobold is in, because apparently he is in one of the racing games. He's made multiple racing games, which is why I say one of the. Uh, if you guys can figure out what game he's in, I'll go I'll go take a look at that too. Actually, I think I actually checked out the racing game that he was mentioned to be in, but I couldn't find him anywhere. Because I did check out one of his racing games, I think specifically the one that was mentioned. But I didn't find any trace of the kobold, so I'm not really sure. They said that he is the merchant in Off-Road 2089. That's what it says. But the thing is, I played Off-Road 2089 a little bit. There wasn't any shop, as far as I could see. So I don't really know. We could take a look after this, though, as a bonus. I, I think I still have it downloaded. And if I don't, I could quickly download it. It wouldn't take very long. I could double check. Because apparently he's in Off Road 2089. Or if somebody, if somebody wants to be enterprising, they could go to Kibby Soft on itch.io and download the game and take a look for me as I finish up this game. Maybe a different build. That might be it. Maybe. Because apparently in Off Road 2089, he got big. Yeah, we'll do a quick check after this, see if we can't find him. Let me... there. He definitely looks like a future kobold scientist, though, with the random latex medical wear and <laughs> laser gun. <laughs> Hey, just to know, this is the for real, and we're actually trying to get out this time run. <laughs> I wish we had more than a leisurely... Are you thinking that he'd start running during this phase? Big round buppers. That is a true statement. Oh. It's really hard to get out of the gravitational field sometimes. Also, it appears that running as fast as possible is good enough to not die. So the tur- like the turrets, if you just stay moving, I don't think they can really kill you. They're doing a number on me, but I don't think they can kill me in time. Alright. <laughs> I like how there's one outside too, just in case. Just- just in case that can clip you on the way out. I escaped. So I thought. Planning isn't my strong suit. 
I wasn't quite fully out of the thwomp range. Felt the cells within me expand. But after a few choice exp expletives, it stopped. I opened my eyes with guns pointed my way. It's a little hard to move with a few thousand new pounds of fat, but they carried me away. Oh, this was fat. I guess this kind of counts more as a fat for a game then. Then they offered me a handshake for my mayhem, and rather than the expected obliteration, I became an arms dealer for the military and potion seller, as you do when you get arrested. I settled in a nearby castle to make new tech. Not a raw deal for blowing up a black site. Good ending. Okay, so this was I. I and guys, and this whole time, it turns out. Turns out, this whole time, I tricked you all without knowing it. So I guess I tricked myself too. But this was in fact a fat game the whole time. So I guess I'll be labeled this as a as a fat for a game <laughs> on, the, on the thumbnail. <laughs> fat is a liquid. I guess is fat a liquid? Is that an accurate statement? I don't. I don't... I don't think so? But it's not exactly... It's a semi-solid. Is fat a liquid? Hmm. So I guess this was actually an, an, an embiggening ray, a fat, fattening ray. So they're not being inflated, they're turned fat. Yeah, it's just that they're, they're turned fat into a ball shape, which made me think that it was more inflation. Because inflation typically is, is, the, is the interest that generally makes people balls. And when it comes to fat first stuff, it's usually a case of the body parts individually getting fatter and not really a ball. So this is a this is an unusual situation where people fatten into a ball, <laughs> basically. Um, let's do one thing before I quote unquote quit though. I'm kind of curious about. I'm gonna actually double check. I'm gonna do a little bonus content here. We're going to look up and see if I can figure out off road twenty eighty nine. I want to figure out, is he in that game? Oh! PGJ also bought a mouse pad and some other merch. Tried to figure I'd pick up some merch so, while I was watching your stream. Well, thank you, man. I hope you enjoy the merch. It should arrive, it usually arrives in like two weeks, I think. Um, but yeah, off from 2089, let's do a little bonus con. Now, go, those of you watch it on YouTube, this might. This might not pull up, this might not end up pulling up thing, any information, but supposedly, and I didn't do this advanced, I didn't do advanced research on this, so I apologize, but uh, supposedly, um, the, the other game that Kibisoft made, Off-Road 29, which is just a racing game, I did play a little bit of that, actually it's right here, I have, I have it right here, I, I just realized I actually already had it over here, there it is, okay, let me actually... Huh. That's interesting. The I I had the game downloaded, but it won't launch now. That's weird. No, let me just download a new version. Alright, there we go. Well, once it finishes. Okay. So, if I am correct, he should be in this game. But that is if he is. Because I don't know. I, I looked at the game myself on my own time previously. Could not find any merchant. You'd think that finding the merchant would be easy, but... Well... Here. Here is Offro 2089. Which has a really weird intro and no furries in it, unfortunately. It's just like robots and stuff. It's kind of cool, though, actually. But we don't care about that right now. We care about finding the kobold merchant. Also, you have a good night, Rip. Don't rip. Don't rip. Just have a good sleep. <laughs> Rest in peace, but not in that way. Also, hello, Shade. Uh, did you miss it? Did you miss the stream? No, not at all. Uh, we are currently, this is a little bonus thing at the end of the Foop Punk episode, where we are investigating Off-Road 2089 to see, is he here? Now here's the thing, this is a racing game, you can race. 
there's a lot of tracks, actually. Oh, there's a, there is a castle track, I wonder. The guy did say he set up in a castle. But, um... I don't see a merchant. Right? Like, I don't see a, a merchant place. Maybe he's just at the castle, though. There's nothing stopping me from selecting it, so let's go let's go investigate the castle. He did say he set up in the castle, so I have a filling here. The hell? Um, this is music, I guess. Huh. Alright, so I'm just going to do a lap around this course, and we'll see if we can find this elusive merchant. This is definitely a song. I wonder if he's just, like, in the background somewhere? Excuse me. <laughs> Alright. Actually, I do kind of like the song, but it's like, also, why? But yeah, um, merchant. You think that he would just be in the game as like, oh, he sells you car parts or something, but as far as I can tell, that's not the case. By the way, this is actually a pretty good game. Uh, for my limited time playing it. I just wanted to say that. It is very arcade racy. Okay, so that's a full lap and we didn't see anybody. So maybe I am incorrect. But yeah, apparently the merchant is in this game supposedly. But obviously we don't really see him. I do wonder if... See, some of these tracks are just different times of day. I don't know. It's a mystery. Maybe I'll do a bonus episode where I try to find him. But there's like no way to actually wait. Is there any way to tune my car? No, there is no way to tune my car or buy parts for it. So I'm not entirely sure where this freaking merchant is. But apparently he is big in whatever game he appears in. So if we could find him, that'd be pretty cool. But uh, yeah. Maybe we should ask Kibby about that. Maybe Kippy is pulling a jape and is like, Remember that character from this game? And maybe he doesn't actually exist. Maybe that's just a freaking lie, is what I'm thinking. I don't know, though. It's hard to say. Um, but regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed. Well. Kibbysoft. Kibbysoft's floof punk. I will try and see if I can't find this character and do a little short thing showing off the character if I can or something. There are other versions of the game that exist on his site, so it's possible it could, he could just be in a specific version, but I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed Fruit Punk, which turned out to be a surprise fat for a game when I thought it was inflation. What do you figure? <laughs>